Hello everyone, this is Varsha and you are watching the series of success stories brought to you by Indian Achievers Forum. So as you all know, in this segment of ours, we talk about the prominent achievers of our country who have made India proud in some way or the other. The main focus of our series is to make you all know about the success and achievements of our prominent guest. So today in the same sequence, we have with us Mr. Abhijit Inamdar. Mr. Abhijit Inamdar, who is the founder and CEO of Siri Nor. Previously, he worked as a corporate VC in the US. As a VC, invested in high-impact early-stage technology companies in the energy industry. He has served as a board member advisor for 10 plus companies. Abhijit was one of the honorees of Heart Energy 40 Under 40 in 2019. In his spare time, he loves to travel and play soccer and poker. So let's hear out the journey to success from the man himself. But before that, let's quickly have a look at a very small video telling you about what we actually do. Indian Achievers Forum is driven by a full-fledged advisory board. The board consists of experienced personalities who have excelled in their respective careers. Together, the forum organizes conferences, events, workshops, exhibitions, trade shows and B2B initiatives in India as well as abroad. Where there is passion, there is achievement. And where there is achievement, there is Indian Achievers Forum. Hi, Varsha. Thank you. I'm good. How are you? All good, sir. Thank you so very much. Uh, so though I have given a little, uh, you know, brief about your professional role, still, if you can tell us a bit more about yourself and your professional role. too. Okay. Uh, thank you. So my background, uh, I grew up in a small town uh, here in Varshi, which is in Sholapur district in Maharashtra. Uh, my, both my parents work really hard to take care of uh, family members, more than 10 people. In the, uh, and then I was fortunate to uh, uh, attend the Shaho College Patton, which is in Latur for my high school. After that, uh, I graduated with petrochemical engineering degree uh, from Raiga district. Uh, once I finished that, uh, I moved to US to do my master's in uh, petroleum engineering from University of Alaska Fairbanks. Uh, for, so after graduating there, I worked in the energy industry for almost 20 years from uh, companies like Schlumberger, which is uh, worldwide uh, service company to companies like Equinor, which is the uh, multinational energy company from Norway. Uh, I did uh, get, an, uh, get an opportunity to work as a reservoir manager as well as investment manager at Equinor, uh, having two different uh, domains and aspects. Uh, it, it, it made me learn a lot of things uh, and it was very exciting part to go from engineering projects all the way to investments uh, or scouting for startups uh, and then investing in them and being on the board of the companies. Uh, it was it was a fun part as well as exciting part to meet all these entrepreneurs who had passion uh, and most of them had similar dream which was to change change the world and make it a better place uh, with their ideas as well as solutions uh, and I did get an encouragement from them obviously uh, so I'm sitting on the other side of the table today uh, as a co-founder and CEO of Sirenor where we are focused on enabling zero emission solution for uh, faster travel. Uh, which is supersonic travel as well as uh, subsonic travel in the business. Yes. So that's a uh, brief about me and uh, my professional background. Right, sir. So I'm very keen to know that what actually inspired you to, you know, start with this organization of yours. Yeah, no, that's an interesting story. Uh, in 2020, uh, I was approached by these two young men, one uh, uh, from Norway, Lars Robertson, who's my co-founder, and uh, other uh, Pramod, uh, who is our conceptual design engineer from India. Both of them had, uh, had an idea to uh, enable uh, or have an electric engine solution, uh, uh, which is basically zero emission solution for aerospace. Uh, and at that time, I was working uh, on hydrogen projects, investing in hydrogen startups, as well as looking at projects uh, on the Asia side. Uh, so uh, I did get attracted to zero emission solution uh, for uh, aerospace. So we had a brainstorming session, uh, and then multiple ideas came from drone solution to, to other transportation. But the one key thing that stuck out, uh, and we all had an eureka moment, if you will, which, which was the one we're working on right now. So it's a, 
electric engine zero emission solution, uh, which is pure zero emission solution for supersonic jets. Uh, and that's that's how uh, we said, OK, this is it. All of us uh, believe in it. And we decided to form the company. We worked on patents uh, and filed the patents in India. And now we're expanding it to uh, US as well as Europe. Amazing, sir. So, uh, you know, nothing comes that easy to us. And I'm pretty sure that you must have also faced certain sort of challenges in your professional role. So if you can talk about those challenges and also the overcomings for the same thing. Yeah, uh, challenges are always going to be there, especially with startups. And most of us uh, went through the biggest challenge, which was the pandemic uh, last couple of years. Uh, on top of that, for me personally, uh, my wife was going through uh, uh, chemotherapy for her stage four cancer, which was detected uh, in 2019. Uh, and she is the person who loved uh, traveling. Uh, but because of cancer treatment and all, uh, the doctors recommended that she should not travel uh, long distances. Uh, and uh, during that time, we were not even able to meet the family back here in India and all. Uh, but when I mentioned her the idea of supersonic travel uh, with zero emissions as a value proposition, she was excited. She was excited about the fact that uh, we could go to the other side of the world within hours. Uh, so her excitement obviously gave me encouragement to continue the DEEM project. Uh, unfortunately, uh, she passed away last year. Uh, but I had a great support from the team. and. Uh, we decided to continue the efforts. We also named the company Sirinor, which is in her memory. Uh, her name was Siri Atai. Uh, and, and as I said, uh, there will be probably more challenges. But as a team, we're all prepared. Uh, uh, we have built a great team, almost 12, 13 people now, uh, sitting in all different locations within Norway, India, US. Uh, but we have built the great system to have uh, the best communication as well as the trustworthiness within the team uh, to move forward. We're ready for more challenges. Great to hear that, sir. So now, uh, moving ahead, if you can please brief us a bit about the product and services that your uh, organization is providing to people out there. So our, our main focus is to enable zero emission solution for aviation industry. Our first product will be an electric engine, uh, which will pro provide onboard zero emissions for business jets, which will be subsonic uh, as well as supersonic speeds. And, and then we'll move on to different products, which probably will be in drones and other aspects. But that's our first product, uh, an electric engine, uh, using hydrogen fuel cell technology uh, and a hydrogen fuel. All right, sir. So, so now moving ahead, you know, everyone do plans for their future. Uh, so what further plans are you having for the organization in the upcoming years? If you can please share a bit of those plans with us. Yeah, sure. Uh, biggest plan now is to uh, build the MVP, minimum viable product, and then eventually build a prototype, uh, full-scale prototype using hydrogen fuel cell, hydrogen tanks, and our engine. So this we expect uh, it will last for about three to four years. Uh, and then during that time, we'll, we'll test out different technologies as well. Uh, but we plan to do all this in India uh, with, with the right partners, uh, most likely from Bangalore area and all that. That's, that's our uh, immediate uh, future plan. And I wish you all the luck for all these plans of yours, sir. Thank you. All right, sir. So now moving ahead, uh, as you just mentioned about the biggest challenge of this COVID-19. Uh, so, but this in the same uh, way, it has made us all realize that how important it is to become, you know, Atmanirbhar. So uh, what do you have to say on this self-reliant India movement, an initiative by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji? And how is your organization working towards this? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have to say it's, it's a great uh, mission. Uh, and I think we are, as a company, we're already working towards uh, making it a reality, if you will, because uh, uh, everything we're trying to do is going from idea to commercialization and doing most of that uh, or almost all of it in India. Uh, our conceptual design, obviously, is uh, uh, the engineer, uh, aerospace engineer from, Oth from India, he came up with it. Our next plan is to build a prototype in India uh, along with the right partners. We have uh, built a partnership already with Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, who has all the facilities uh, in this domain going from simulation all the way to uh, digital twin to the supersonic wind tunnel testing and all. And we'll definitely work with more partners. Uh, we would like India to be the leader in providing the zero emission solution in aerospace. And I think we, we are uh, already, uh, as I said, we, are, we have already started the mission and it will uh, bring India on the uh, world map uh, and as, as one of the countries who has taken this challenge uh, from Paris Agreement as well as COP26 uh, head on. And 
the Atmanirbhar Bharat Mission obviously uh, sets a great example for, for companies like us to build uh, our products and services uh, in alignment with that. So uh, the other thing we are trying, we are uh, going to do is uh, potentially spin off some of the technologies coming uh, companies from coming from these technologies, which will go in, as I said, uh, uh, drone space or uh, heavy transportation, which is all needed uh, and which is all going to be under pressure for uh, decarbonizing it and we will have the solution for that. Okay, sir. So now uh, moving ahead, you know, this year we would be celebrating the 75th year of independence, which is famously known as Azadi Ka Amrit Mahot, sir. So uh, what would you have to say on this and uh, as in how far we have come and what is your vision pertaining to this? Yeah, as, as a country, I mean, we're still young compared to countries like US and also uh, I would definitely say within 75 years, we have achieved a lot and past a uh, couple of decades, uh, I, as I mentioned, I lived in the US and from my perspective, uh, living there, uh, I've seen huge progress uh, happening in India. And I'm really happy that I'm here now uh, with the company trying to build something uh, which is which has never been done before for aviation space. Uh, and the, the whole support from Indian government as well as the whole ecosystem that's being built uh, along with the Atmanirbhar Bharat mission and other, other things to uh, help support startups really really excited about it and really happy that uh, we are in the right place at the right time especially here in india uh, and i do see now the brain drain that happened a few years ago uh, out of india it's most likely coming back and helping india uh, to get to the next level very rightly said sir so now moving ahead uh, you know though i know it's always a very wonderful feeling when we get recognitions for our work still i would love to know from you that uh, what are your feelings on winning this indian achievers award for promising startup yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, it's uh, <laughs> it's an honor. Uh, I feel great about it, uh, and uh, it's it's a powerful testament, I I should say, for what we are trying to do uh, and what we're trying to create uh, with the zero emission solution. Uh, so, all placing the attention on companies uh, which are focused on sustainable future, uh, green future, uh, and the opportunities we are getting here in India. Uh, this award uh, just helps us uh, to get to the next level and gives us more encouragement. So. Really appreciate it and thank, thanks for that. And I once again congratulate you on this achievement of yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right, sir. So as we have, you know, discussed a lot about your professional role and also the future plans. So uh, tell us a bit about the CSR activities too that you are involved in. Uh, yeah. So uh, as a company, as I said, we are focused on enabling the zero emission solution uh, for aviation industry. So this will help decarbonize the aerospace, uh, which is also uh, which will also enable us to, to fly guilt-free, if you will. Uh, and end of the day, uh, decarbonization has to happen for for better uh, planet. We have a lot of climate challenges, and uh, we are at least trying to tackle one of them. Uh, so th this is how we are going to help or contribute uh, towards our social cause uh, it, it, by, by enabling the solutions, enabling the technology which will try to tackle this, that problem in next uh, within this decade and, and coming decade. Right, sir. So now, uh, last but surely not the least, uh, what message or mantra you would like to give to our younger generation to become successful in their careers? Yeah, the mantra. I, I think if you have an uh, idea uh, as an entrepreneur, uh, I would say definitely pursue it. Uh, follow your passion, follow your dream. Uh, but at the same time, reach out to the people you think uh, could be interesting to join your mission. Uh, building the right team early on is is very critical, and having the right people who who either buy into your uh, vision uh, and ideas uh, it's it's going to be critical. At the end of the day, I believe uh, it is it is going to be a teamwork. Uh, no one can do it all alone. Uh, and at the same time, uh, I sh I would say, don't be afraid to make mistakes and uh, don't be afraid to fail. Uh, fail fast, learn fast should be the mantra for your success. Very rightly said, sir. So thank you so very much for your time today. It was a pleasure talking to you. And uh, I wish you all the success for all your future endeavors as well. And may you continue to inspire us the way you are doing. Thank you so very much for joining with us. Thank you, Varsha. Thank you.